it's coming. <laughs> it's all right, I'm playing music. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Yes. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. All right, well, Sue and I are out at the antique shop today. We decided to switch it up a little. I've been doing a lot of thrifting recently, so today we are antiquing, a little bit different. Um, but I like antiquing because a lot of the times I can pick up big scores and make like 100 bucks here, 100 bucks there. Whereas thrifting, it's just like a little bit here, a little bit there. It's not really significant. And also, we can find things that are interesting that we can talk about. That's exactly right. Hopefully add to somebody's store of information. It is five degrees here today. That's pretty cold. For those of you who are not in the United States, that's minus 15 Celsius. It is cold. It's freezing today. cold. Um, so nobody's out. That's the great yeah. news. We and just have the city to ourselves. Yeah, and we're from Rhode Island, so it's like yes, this is this not is too normal. Cold for us. Yeah. <laughs> so all right, we're gonna head in here and see what we can find. All right, see you later. Later. All right, well, it seems that I've lost Sue, but I did pick up something that I thought was pretty cool. Um, it's mid-century, of course, because you guys know I have a weakness for mid-century. Um, so I picked up this, and it's actually wall art. And now there is work similar attributed to a designer called Bijan, and I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing it right, because I've only seen it in writing, but it's B-I-J-A-N. Um, and he did these cutouts, this wall art. Um, this appears to be one of his pieces, but I believe it may be a reproduction. If you look here, I'm not seeing his signature, and I understand that he normally signed his work. And right here, there's some adhesive, almost as if there was a sticker there that may have said, like, made in Japan or made in China. Um, but you still get the effect, and I like it. So I'm taking it home with me for... $15. But I also just noticed this. Now, I'm more in love with the frame than I am with the painting. The painting's okay. Um, it's a little yellow for my taste. It could just be the age that's making it look yellow. But the frame is really, really sturdy and solid wood. Um, and when I'm looking at paintings, a lot of the times I'm actually looking at the frames. And this frame gets an A plus from me. So this is coming home with me as well. It's nice. Sue so was just manhandling my painting and I noticed something on the back of it that I'm not really pleased with. Yes, it says it was made in Taiwan. Now, Jocelyn is put off by this. I'm not for a couple of reasons. One, it's a very nice frame. And the way you can tell, boy, this sweatshirt. Okay, let's scoot over here. Yes, this sweatshirt's going into the wash as soon as I get home. <laughs> this is a dirty piece. Notice how these little pieces are all lined up perfectly so that the same distance, you know, from the edge of the molding to the corner, it's not just randomly cut. They don't do that sort of thing in cheap frames. At least not anymore, they don't. Plus, it has an insert which means the frame can be used in two sizes. You can measure it out like this or with the insert. For $19, a brand new house, a lot of walls to fill up. Fine, I'm thinking this fine. is not a bad investment. The painting itself is yellow. But it's not bad. I mean, it's not, oh, look at that. Isn't that terrible? Oh my God, I look know. at you. That is how dirty it is. So maybe the yellow is actually dirt. That's possible. Well, it's a grubby little thing and it needs to be cleaned up. But still... I'm sorry for handing you my painting. Don't put that in. Somebody's going to comment. Um, I'll buy you Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It, it's a nice piece. And it's inoffensive if you wanted to hang it on the wall the way it is. Clean it up, of course. Yes. Because believe me, you put this on your wall, you're going to lose your security deposit. <laughs> Clean it up, pop it up on the wall, wait till you find something nice to put in it. This is not bad. If you went anywhere 
today, you would not get this frame for 20 bucks. You just wouldn't. And it's a nice, primitive looking frame. I like it. I'm gonna give it to Paul to carry downstairs. Because he's gonna ask me. He's gonna ask me if I want this stuff downstairs and I'm gonna tell him, yes, Paul, you can finally take yes. it because you've already asked me once. Ooh. Oh yeah. What an interesting little mid-century piece this is. I knew you'd like that. I was waiting to show you to let Paul take it downstairs. I was like, no, not yet, Paul. I have to show Sue. This is nice. <laughs> Sue? Yes. Found a friend for Audie. You know, if you just stuff that thing with paper shreddings, Audie would be all over it. <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh. Is it, is it bad that I'm actually considering it? It is, right? It's weird. No, no, because you have a knack for picking interesting animal pieces. So, no, I'm not going to say I feel that like it's kind of weird, though, because if you, like, stuffed him with plants and had plants growing out of his back, his butt back region, that's kind of weird, right? Well, except for the fact that every cat I've ever had has really just <laughs> crawled around the house <laughs> kind of pretending to be George of the Jungle. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna have to think. I'm gonna have to think about this one. If there's nothing better that we come across, I'm coming back for you. Action! All right, pop quiz. Same shop, two plates, same price. What's wrong with this picture? One's older than the other. <laughs> <You know. laughs> These two plates are from two very different eras. This one, as you can see, and just look at the colors. This one is uh, one of the, the made in Japan decorated in Hong Kong. This, of course, is made in China. Same store, same size, same general category, totally different era, same price. What that tells you is the person who priced these has no idea what they're doing. Maybe you'll get a good deal, Maybe you won't, as in this case. $45 a piece, a little too much for both. What do we have here? Eight dollars? Don't mind if I do. There's another one in there. I didn't even look at that one. I don't think it's a matching one, but. Six fifty. Oh, oh, oh. Wait a minute. Is it? <laughs> it is the mate. They're not identical, but look, it's the They mate. match. They do. You just need a little rewiring. Oh, yeah. I know how to do that. Good girl. <laughs> I know how to do that with a butter yeah. knife and kitchen scissors. I'm that good. <laughs> I filmed it too. I filmed it. All right. Yeah, no, if you're filming this, don't do that at home. <laughs> Rewiring with a butter knife and kitchen scissors is a really bad idea. It's like, yep, as I used yeah. to say to my kid, it's a good way to see Jesus. <laughs> yeah. All right. like that. I do. Okay. Of course I'm giving you everything and you can hardly juggle it all. You can all. Oh yes you do because it fits tightly. Oh. Do you want me to take one of those? Here, I can film and sconce at the same time. Okay. Jocelyn's filming and sconcing at the same time. <laughs> See if we can get this lid off. Maybe. Well we're getting some. No we're getting some. Okay. No, really we are. I should play some, some music while you're working on this. All right, it, look, it's coming. <laughs> it's all right, I'm playing music. <laughs> oh my God, okay. yes. <laughs> I'm so glad that wasn't class. 
Oh, I know. <laughs> That's something oh. I would do. It's dirty, but it's only $4. It's in good shape. And what is it? Because I didn't show oh. them or tell them. This is a celluloid, probably a pin box. Um, nice tight fitting lid, which of course is not <laughs> going to come off again. Um, and there's actually a collectible market in these pieces. How much will it go for? Not much more than this. Um, but I would say you could probably easily list this for $15 if you're interested. Mm -hmm. Quick sale. Celluloid. As you've seen, you can bounce it around. It doesn't break. <laughs> you can Would throw you it across the room. Throw it at people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we go again. I know. I, I'm just thinking before you sell it, you might want to smear a little Vaseline along. The <laughs> see yeah, so that people see it actually does work. Nice little celluloid piece. I like it. And you find these all over the place. Usually the prices are like this, $4. Again, 15 maybe even 20 Depends on how well it cleans up. Nice. Very nice. All right. all right. It looks like we've got a Jack in the Pulpit vase in here. That's kind of nice. Sue has found a picture $6. frame. $6. Six dollar picture frame. Double picture frame, primitive. That will sell. Yeah? Oh, look at the size. This is like eight by ten on both sides. Okay, fine. It will absolutely sell. I love spending money. It's like what I do. I found some actual geese in here. I don't think those are seagulls. I think they're actual geese. A set of three for thirty-five dollars. Ah, oh, they've been here forever, so I'm gonna have to think about those. I love mid-century decor. I have a really hard time letting go of it, as a matter of fact. It just kind of lives in my house. Oh my gosh. The sky is so much fun. All right, well, I have spotted a mission-style arts and crafts hanging light up on top of this shelf, so I'm going to rearrange. I'm gonna climb up on a chair, and I'm going to check this thing out. Because, all right, I need a new ceiling fixture in my Place. So, um, Sue? I'm gonna film. Oh, wait. Let me move my stuff. I thought I was getting out of your way, but actually, I was getting into it. All right, here we go. $35. You know, I sold one of these for like $250. Uh, yeah, I believe that. This guy just wants to jump right off. Okay, um, how many uh, shades does it have? Is it just that one or? It has three. Now the shades are a little bit expensive, but if I have three and they're not cracked, and it has the actual canopy, which is good too. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think I'm gonna buy it from our house. Oh my God. Five yeah. bucks. It's like a $250 light. Oh yeah. Now, if All you right. sit down about where you can get that, let's move these. <coughs> <coughs> the dust. We're going to move these swan lamps. I've been here okay. for a very long time. Yes, there, there goes the swan lamp. It made it down. Now, all right, I'm going to tip your camera over on the side. So we can get a nice view so of that. This is what it would look like. And I just need to buy one of the shades. That is, as long as not one of them falls off and like shatters over the floor while I'm holding it. And Show me, that would really suck. Oh yeah. That's beautiful. And pieces like this are very, very hard to find. They are. And I usually buy them and sell them, but in this case, Buying and keeping. Hey, $35. How can you no, go I've wrong? Been, I've been looking on Facebook Marketplace yeah. for a deal and uh, I've been finding them at like 75 bucks for like not so great ones. It's beautiful. And the wiring on it actually isn't that bad either. I wouldn't feel bad about not rewiring this. I don't know. I, I might reconsider. I would. Yeah, actually. I'm like, you know, on second thought, maybe I would. But it, I love it. It's great. Beautiful. Fantastic. I'm going to tell you, Andrew, I found one. All right. And I didn't spend $200 on it. All right. He's going to be happy about that. 
Um, so. While I've got the camera there, I'm just gonna take it right here. I wanted to show you guys this Williams and Stevens vase right here. These things are actually worth quite a bit of money. Unfortunately, they're always chipped. Look at it. Always chipped. All over the place. Look, chip there and chip there and chip there, but they're beautiful. Absolutely stunning, but too bad it's always chipped. And lastly, I'm thinking about those right there. Oh, that's cute. Right? Is that not oh, cute? That is, that is cute. That is cute. And behind it, you have some. Is that trench art? Pretty sure it is. Yeah. Right there is trench art. Very cool. I just found some more celluloid and I've got Sue very excited. Well, because <laughs> look at this. This is a little teeny tiny celluloid. Well, we've got a spool of thread in there, but it's a little celluloid jewelry box. Oh, and so you can pop cute. things in, but I mean, it's tiny. It's sweet. It's that would clean feet. up. Yes, and the hinge is in perfect working order. Eight dollars. Oh my. This will sell for a lot more than that. Oh, goodbye? A very good buy because it's, well, now it has to be cleaned up, of course, but look at the interesting lines. Um, we've got a nick right over oh, here. No. no, 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 that's okay. It's one tiny nick and it's in the back. It's a little chip out of the back. Still, $8, yeah, even with the chip. All right, Sue, I'm taking your advice on this. Take, Take my word for it. Okay, fine. I'm taking your word for it. All right, you're not gonna be sorry. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna film our wrap up real quick, but it's super cold. It's only like five degrees out, so we're gonna make this very fast. Sue ended up with nothing except Sue a filthy didn't sweatshirt. Get anything but a filthy sweatshirt. I ended up with a whole box of stuff and a chandelier, and my total spend for the day was 90 bucks. But um, we're gonna dissect this in my wrap up on the Crazy Lamp Lady channel, so make sure you go check that out. I'll put a link in the description. Oh, and one more thing. If the boyfriend doesn't like the chandelier, I will be going online, taking a collection for his psychiatric bills. Okay? <laughs> if you don't like this, you gotta be out of your mind. <laughs> That's exactly right. All right, we'll catch you guys next time, later. And oh my God, I'm just loading this into the car and I just noticed it is marked. Oh my gosh, look right there. Hooray, that means it's worth like 100, $150. Yes, score, I just paid for everything that I paid, everything I bought today, right there, Sue. Oh my God, that is incredible, yes, <laughs> fabulous. Yes. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you've spotted something that you just can't live without, don't worry. I've put a link to our Etsy store down in the description.